Rick Perry, Sonny Perdue, Jim Nicholson, Jay Johnson, there's one thing they all have in common. They were all chosen to be the designated survivor. It's a job somebody has to do every State of the Union. The designated survivor is officially the cabinet member not in attendance, but it's really the person the government picks to be president should everybody in the line of succession be taken out. The Presidential Succession Act provided a line of succession, but it didn't address what happens if everybody in that line dies. The country doesn't need a designated survivor that often. It's used for inaugurations, the State of the Union addresses, and other joint sessions of Congress. I was a designated survivor. Before the 60s, having a designated survivor wasn't a thing, but nuclear threats during the Cold War changed that. The White House has confirmed that the Agriculture Secretary, Sonny Perdue, will be the designated survivor. While cabinet members don't have restrictions, the one picked to be the designated survivor has to be born in the United States and be over 35, just in case he or she has to take over. That person and the country's nuclear codes go to an undisclosed location. That wasn't always the case. Pre-9-11, designated survivors often had quiet nights at home, sometimes even cracking open a cold one with their Secret Service detail. Once the event is over and people spread out, then President Clinton came back and he said, okay, you're off the hook, <laughs> go home. And that's the designated survivor. Straight from DC, I'm Annie Anderson.